Okay, welcome to part four of our example of analyzing a 2D machine, uh, this excavator uh, holding this uh, underground storage tank. In parts one through three, we've looked at uh, this linkage, uh, this pin, the arm. The only thing left to look at is the boom because we still don't know this force. We don't know this force here and we don't know this reaction force. Once we've looked at the boom, um, We'll know those forces and we'll be done with the whole problem. So let's do the free body diagram of the boom. This is my, uh, my version of the boom, my sketch of the boom. Okay. So in terms of the forces acting on the boom, we have this force, the reaction force from the arm, which is minus F sub F. We know this already. We have the tension due to the hydraulic cylinder, THI. We have the weight of the boom, which is 24,000 pounds. We have the tension due to the hydraulic cylinder that uh, connected between the boom and the, and the body of the excavator. We'll call this TKL. And we have a reaction force where the boom is connected to the body of the excavator. And we'll call this FM. Okay. So, um, the things that we don't know again, uh, we, we don't know uh, TKL and we don't know FM. We don't know the magnitude here. We do know its direction and we don't know the X or Y components of FM. So what I'll do is write down the relative position vectors. Well, let me back up just a step. Uh, we will sum the moments about a point and have that be equal to zero. And again, uh, since point M has um, all but one unknown uh, LM, or one unknown uh, being the force going through it, will sum our moments about M. And by summing the moments about M, setting that sum to zero, we'll find THI, and then we can go back and sum forces to find FM. So I'll pause the recording while I write out all of the stuff that we need to uh, figure out what the moments are. Okay, so here's the relative positions of the uh, uh, forces uh, due to the um, uh, due uh, uh, the forces and it just occurs to me I missed RMJ which is RJ minus RM and that's uh, minus 5.6 feet I had plus 11.2 feet j hat. Okay, so now we know the relative position vectors uh, between M and the points, the other points on the uh, free body diagram where forces are applied. We know the direction vector for uh, TKL. And so we can write down now the moments and set that equal to zero and then solve for TKL. So we'll have RMF cross minus FF plus RMI cross minus T H I lambda hat H I plus R M J cross F J I'll call this uh, weight vector FJ plus RMK cross TKL lambda hat KL. And this is equal to zero. Now again, the only thing that we don't know here, that we haven't already computed, is TKL. 
So we compute all of the cross products and we get then that TKL is equal to minus 413 644 pounds. Okay. And uh, then with this, we can now find the sum of the forces and set those equal to zero. So we'll clear off some space here. The um, sum of the forces is equal to zero. We have minus F sub F minus T H I lambda hat H I plus F sub J plus T K L lambda hat K L plus F M is equal to zero. And so um, if we take uh, this, put FM on one side, it's equal to FF plus THI lambda hat HI minus FJ minus TKL lambda hat KL. And if we compute this all out, we get then 3,939 pounds in the I direction minus 347, 625 pounds in the J direction. Okay, so there we have it. We've got um, basically uh, the last tension and forces. And so I have drawn these forces on our picture. And you can see then that uh, we have a pretty, a pretty significant um, tension. It's actually a compression because the sign was negative for TKL. So we have um, uh, this hydraulic cylinder. It's actually a pair of hydraulic cylinders, but it's exerting um, uh, 400,000 pounds. We have uh, the uh, reaction force that the body of the of the excavator applies to the boom is almost 350,000 pounds. And then we have these two forces that the um, that the hydraulic cylinder and uh, the arm are applying to the boom. So um, that pretty much concludes the analysis. Uh, hopefully uh, the lessons you've learned from this, if you're still with me, is one, perseverance. Uh, these sorts of problems are not easy to solve. Uh, conceptually, they're not that difficult, uh, at least if you uh, either deliberately or luckily enough choose the right order in which to do the free body diagrams. But there's a huge amount of computation involved and if you're like I am, if you're doing that computation by hand, there's a good chance uh, that you're screwing it up quite, quite often, so you have to check very carefully. So, thanks for watching, and I hope this has been helpful.